Okie dokie. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to part six of Super Mario 64. We have 64 power stars. Let's take the the road less traveled. Oh, maybe that's why it's less traveled. <laughs> now we gotta go to the basement area anyway, so might as well go to the moat. But yeah, my strategy of staying up all day failed. I made the mistake of laying down to watch that Nintendo Direct, and then it was it was just defeat waiting to happen. But this corner, by the way. Right here, with all the water in between these two stages. As a kid, I thought it was the coolest corner ever. I don't know, it just has that feeling like a pyramid puzzle. Oh, that's right, it's like a secret thing in the pyramid, but we also gotta get 100 coins. But yeah, that corner, um, it feels like one of those cool basements, you know? That as a kid, you always wanted to be invited to that cool corner, like where the adults were playing pool or something. I don't know. And it's like, how? There's not a pool table. It's just a flooded basement room. But I don't know. That's what my imagination did back in the day. Yeah. But yeah, I passed out and I got nothing done. So now it's super late. And I should just go right back to bed and reset to a normal schedule. I don't know, I got work to do. These guys have a blue coin, I think. If you, I don't know if every time, I think you gotta get them in the head. Yeah. Maybe they're always blue, I don't know. But I had a really weird dream. I only remember bits and pieces of it though. But I was kayaking on like a, a poisonous lake, like a lake that was really contaminated. And I felt like something was chasing me the whole time. And I kayaked past this area twice that started on something like an oil rig or... I don't know, it felt like an oil rig. There was two employees there. Some really fat dude that looked like Bulk from the Power Rangers, you know, Bulk and Skull. And he had his boots stuck in mud the whole time. But yeah, I kayaked past all these logs, the kind of logs you would see on the back of a logging truck. And the skies were really stormy, and on the other side of the bank, it was just this really creepy forest that kind of felt like eyes were always watching you. And then I was running through the streets, like, I don't know, I turned a corner in the forest and suddenly I was in some, like, downtown area. And I jumped through a window that was like a storage for bathroom stuff? There was like a million bathtubs in there. Yeah, I know none of this makes any sense, but that's how crazy the dream was. So I was like running from whatever was watching me in the woods. And I had to sneak through this window of this like bathtub storage thing that looked like a house from the outside. Uh, it was the weirdest thing ever. And then I was back in that creepy forest and then back kayaking in a thunderstorm and all the logs were falling. It was, it was weird. I know, it was a terrible story, but it filled the time. So there you go. I don't know if that's just a sign that I was really tired or what. I haven't really remembered too many dreams lately. That's the first one. 52 coins. I know that bird can steal your hat, but if you have the wing cap, you don't get it stolen. Come on now. Yeah, that dream felt really real, though. I mean, I guess all dreams do. That was Inception's whole thing, right? I remember thinking that line at the time was kind of neat. How when stuff is happening in a dream that's completely unrealistic and improbable, you don't question it because in the context of the dream, it's very real. There's coins up here, I believe. Should be good for going in the pyramid, but there's also that guy and this one. There's a cannon over there too. This camera, dude. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get used to it. That doesn't work either. Wow. It's probably the worst first-person camera mode ever, but it makes sense. First one. First 3D game, really. 
Well, yeah, that Nintendo Direct was pretty lackluster. The eight-minute partner showcase or whatever it was. There was nothing shown off in that thing that even remotely caught my interest. I think there was, like, one potentially big game for a niche group of fans, like Shin Megami Tensei or however, Shin, however you say it. But I know nothing about that, so it's... Oh, jeez, this is hard to control. Yeah, <laughs> once you get going, it's hard to steer. 64 coins. Appropriate, but not enough. Is that one, too? Well, I'm going too nuts. I can't control it. These pillars kind of remind me of Kirby 64, having just played that. The red and the brown. It's like you would have to combine stone and firepower to break this thing. Let's just go in the pyramid. It's 65 coins. Because the blue coin switch is in here, too, so... That should be able to... get us up there pretty quick. Here it is. Where do they appear, though? Wait, this is a serious question. Where do they appear? I don't remember. Um, well, that's not good. Oh, yeah, it's like in the sand, and it's only a handful of them. I still need 35, dude. I hope there's 35 coins in here. This could be a problem. Who knows? That creepy music that always makes me think of... Dory the Dinosaur, or the Loch Ness Monster from Hazy Maze Cave. It is Dory, right? I don't know. I don't have any memory of this at all. Please be coins. Nuts. Like, this side of the pyramid, I don't remember ever being here. Should be able to long jump across. Oh, come on, get up there, Mario. I know you can. Can you? I thought you could easily hop up there. Maybe I'm wrong. Thinking of a different game, maybe? Well, it's not working, but I'm hoping that's coins in there. This is one of those clunky gameplay things. It's just... It doesn't hold up. But every game has at least one really annoying thing in it. But definitely the older the 3D game, the more that you see. Like, Sonic games are terrible for stuff like that. That's one thing about Sonic that's always bugged me. It's like, if you don't play perfectly, then it's just clunky. No, it's just, it's just a mushy. Yeah. I'm still a little out of it, to be honest with you. It's just that panic when you wake up after falling asleep when you didn't want to fall asleep. And so then you have that panic mentality of, I got all this stuff I gotta do. And whether you're ready or not, it's kind of how I feel. This commentary's tough sometimes, I gotta say. I'm sure everybody can relate to that. You don't talk to yourself the whole time you're playing a video game. Usually, you kind of just stare off in the distance and unwind. I do miss that wedge chair that I had as a kid. I think they still sell them. I did a search not too long ago and I saw something similar, but it's like a little... Almost like a... A lowercase cursive L. No, wait, that's not right. That's all loopy. It's a wedge shape like in the Flintstones, that thing they throw on the car that tips it over, you know? But it's padded. And it just rocks back and forth on the floor. And it's really comfortable. It's like the best back support in the world. And I used to play video games in that chair all the time. Speaking of... I might show you something... in the behind the scenes thing I gotta do. But it's like Lila Aces on Patreon. But yeah, Monday is ending. It's gonna be Tuesday and I got all kinds of stuff. Like Thursday, a bunch of stuff is happening. Well, actually, Thursday, Xbox's game showcase. That's I gotta watch that next. Because I don't know if I'm getting a PlayStation 5 or the new Xbox. It all really depends on that game showcase. Because right now, PlayStation 5 is looking pretty good. At least to me. 
I was impressed by it. And I am kind of getting tired of Nintendo's whole... I don't know, all, all the new stuff I've purchased for Nintendo, I've had mild fun with. And it's just... I don't know. Like, I'm excited for the new Zelda. And if Star Fox things ever happen, I'm gonna be all over that. It could just be a getting older thing, too. Like, can video games even be as fun as they used to be anymore? Or is it just... Well, there we go, we got it. That goes back to that anhedonia thing. The sadness of life when stuff just doesn't satisfy anymore. Yeah, this thing is really tricky. There's something about this. I know there's one like... No, but I didn't jump far enough. Ah. Yeah, those two are very hard to get. I see you, coin. I'm coming for you. Yes. Oh, I don't know how that worked. Now, I think you could just press Z hanging off the edge. No. Crap. No! Oh! Okay. That took way too many tries. I forgot this star is really irritating. But it's another one of those situations where it doesn't have to be if the camera was any better. Oh well, that's what you get when you go back to 1996. There's that too, like video games are objectively better now in terms of technology and stuff. So like the whole concept of the good old days, um, like that's just an old man cranking is what that is. Is there really such a thing as good old days? Because 30 years from now, the kids of today are gonna look back on their good old days. So then really it's like, who are any of us? No, I don't know. This is what happens when you just play Mario way after it came out. You start wondering stuff. But dire, dire docs, let's chill out. This music is good. Board Bowser so Definitely one of the coolest openings to a stage in this entire game. The manta rays. Where's the manta ray? We could get that real quick. Is he not here yet? I don't remember the order of those treasure chests either. This tunnel. Something about swimming in this thing always felt really cool. I don't really know how to explain it. But I know I like to try to stay underwater. I used to pretend I was hiding from somebody and if I popped my head out of the water they would see me. Why is it going so slow? On an emulator even. I mean I think it did always slow down here because of the crazy jet stream and the sub. That was always neat to the Bowser portrait. I had a little Bowser plushy thing that you squeezed his stomach and he would make the growl noise he makes in Mario Party, I think it is? Wherever he first went rah, rah, rah. Just like that. I don't think I've ever stood on this ramp before. I think I always went to this side first to get up here. Whatever. Board Bowser sub, and then once we do this, we get access to Bowser's lair, and the sub goes away, right? Or do you have to beat Bowser for the sub to go away? It is really crawling. Like, worse than the actual console, I don't understand. Hopefully, with the sub disappearing, that'll go away. That is my hope. But there's no such thing as hope. Just a fool's hope. I want to do more before we go to Bowser. There's that first room has a bunch of stuff. Chests in the current, that's one of them. And the manta ray is right there. Wait a minute, let's do this one. This is another one of those rooms that you always kind of imagined was somehow part of a vacation. And you could breathe underwater at the same time. 
Don't ask questions, it's just what happens. Uh oh. I went too slow. There it is. Oh yeah, they put it right on top of the tornado. That's dangerous. Well, there's a lot of coins there? I didn't know there was coins way up on the top. Here we go. 68 now. More than half. That is star number five, right? I think the manta ray was always number five. That's one of those weird memories that is just always gonna be remembered. Yep. All right, chest in the current now. Let's see if we could figure this order out after however many years it's been. It's not that one. I know you had to turn a little bit. Is it this one? Oh my gosh, it's not that one. <laughs> huh? It's this one, yeah, it's all decorated. That's right. Air bubble, help me. Okay. Yeah, I missed my chance to go to the grocery store too. When I woke up, it was gonna close in five minutes. It's one thing about this virus infected world that's annoying. It's harder to get to places because everybody's hours are shortened, it seems like. It's really just groceries that are the problem because that's the one thing you could run out of and potentially need. Even though every single one of us could stand, we could not eat for 24 hours and be fine. It's just uncomfortable, I guess. Whoa! Get out of there! I don't eat enough anyway, but... No! I, I don't think I'm gonna make it. I'm like inside the tornado. Okay, somehow I got out of it. Tornadoes. That's another chronic nightmare I've always had. But I've talked about that numerous times in other videos. Like Pico's Hank. I like his stuff that he does. Let's keep going, Dire Dire Docs. I'm enjoying the music. What's next? Pole jumping for red coins, so that's where the sub was. For some reason, the sub is still here. I think I gotta beat Bowser, so in that case, all the coins I just collected, I was gonna go for 100 coins, but... Yeah, the things aren't even here. Well, that's a faulty memory thing. Let's do collect the caps. This was always one of my favorites. I like the idea that you can wear two at once. Here we go indeed. And it resets the timer, so I'm invisible for as long as I'm metal now, which would normally not be the case, I think. Come on, Mario, sink! Uh, the jet stream, there's something with that. I think it's another five rings you gotta get through. But this is the one. Yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite stars as a kid. Seventy power stars! The mystery of the endless stairs is solved, thanks to you! Whoops! Well, I guess we're not seeing the endless stairs. So I could go beat the game, but that's ridiculous. Let's go fight Bowser. <laughs> Gotta get all the red coins in this place. I always liked this Bowser arena. I don't know, I like the first one too. The last one I remember being kind of terrifying because it's more challenging. I'm trying to think what games I most want. I don't even remember the PlayStation thing now that I thought was cool. Was it Ratchet and Clank or the other one? Yeah, it was Ratchet and Clank. That game looked like it could be really fun. But then at the same time, it's like what I was saying before, is it, would it really be that fun? That's like every new game, even the fun new games that I've purchased. 
they've never wowed me to a point that I'm gonna remember them forever. I feel like I'm just too old. Which is why this game can never be topped. Like, I'm never gonna be as excited for a game as I was this one. It's impossible. Because no, the games are just aren't that exciting to me anymore. I don't know what in life does excite me. <laughs> uh, can you fall off of that platform, please? Oh. Well played, sir. Get out of here. All right, you get to live another day. It's all coming back to me. I like running at an angle like this. I don't know, as bad as the camera is, sometimes there's small things I appreciate, like just that perfect angle, you know, the 45 degree angle to where you are running. Oh, I just missed it. Nuts. I think it might be different if everybody I grew up with was still playing games a lot in all of their bored hours, but it's like when you become an adult, other things take precedent. Like finding a wife and settling down becomes more exciting than any video game could ever be. And then kids just seem to happen whether you're ready for it or not. weird. Ah, uh, this could be a problem. Oh, thank you for landing on it. Has that spinny heart thing ever come back in a Mario thing? I don't think it has. Like, Galaxy had that one mushroom that just gave you an extra life bar. Oh. There's something up there. I don't remember what. No, we're doing it. That's where the star appears, right? Yes, it is. Okay. And I think I'm gonna land on this pole. Yeah, perfect. I wonder, is this tall enough to make the jump? Yeah, just barely. Well, there it is. That wasn't so bad. Now, Bowser 2, he's the one who spins the whole platform or stomps it. I remember he was still really easy, though. That thing was always neat. I don't know, that thing you drop down? Those drums going with his footsteps. Making mischief with my minions. Still a cool angle, though. Whoa, why is he not hopping up? All right, let's do it. Whoa! I forgot he did that. What are you doing, Bowser? Wait, what am I forgetting? This used to be like a two second long fight. Do you have to stand away from him so he jumps? No. Does he not even do his big fire breath? Because I think it's you waited on that and then spun around and grabbed What the heck? How do I forget how to fight Bowser? Oh, he does that charge thing? Actually, that might help. But I never did that as a kid. What the heck am I missing here? Whatever. Let's end this. Well, I don't even know if I can. It's going too fast. I used to be able to time that perfectly. I don't know, stuff is weird right now. I'm in shock by how... I don't even know, I don't know how to explain it. Baby throws, maybe. Don't fall off. Yes, go, 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 go! Dang it, I thought I had it! Come on, I need to baby throw you because you spin too fast for my old eyes to keep up, or apparently, or something. Why can't I get to your tail? 
This is the worst Bowser fight ever that ever occurred in this game. I apologize for this terribleness. I, I don't understand. Unless I adjusted the control stick sensitivity too much where I'm not running fast enough? No, that's not gonna work. I can't time it anymore. Come on, grab your tail. Yes, okay, wait, I might have it. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. That was horrible. So we just got the final Bowser and that's it. And I could go fight him right now if I wanted to, but nah. We gotta get all 120 stars. There's still some cool stages left. Yeah, that was, that was all kinds of clunky. I apologize. Well, I think I'm gonna let myself wake up a little bit and think about what other stuff I have to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.